Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at some problems involving plane geometry 1. So without further ado, let's begin. So this is the first example we have in today's video. We can see the plane angles given to us and we we're told that PQR, which is this line P, Q and R, SQT, MQN, are straight lines so it means all these lines that we have here are all straight lines angle p q s which is this from the p to the q which is the center over here to s over here is what is given to us as 25 degrees over here and angle m q t which is from the top over here m to the middle which is q to the top t is given to us as 85 degrees so we have to find the value of x or we are basically to find the angle r q n okay so let's go ahead and look at how we solve this problem now remember they said all the lines we have here are straight lines now what we are going to use over here is what we call angles on a straight line so when we have different angles on a straight line let's say here is a b and c the sum of all these angles equals 180. So A plus B plus C here will be equal to 180 degrees. So that is what we are going to use to solve this problem. Also, if you look at the angle 85 over here, it is vertically opposite to the angle S, Q, and which is the angle over here. Over here. So let me make this Y. The 85 over here is vertically opposite to the angle over here, which we are representing with Y. So vertically opposite angles are the same. So therefore, I can say that angle S, Q, N, okay, is equal to angle M, Q, T, which is therefore equal to 85 degrees. Okay, so what we are basically saying is that our angle Y is 85 degrees. Okay, remember we are making the angle at the bottom over here to be Y. Okay, so now let's find the value of S. If we consider the line PR, that is a straight line. So therefore the angles below it, that is 25 here, the Y that we have here plus the X over here should give us 180. So we have... We can use the angle to represent that first. So we can say angle PQS plus angle SQN plus angle RQN should be equal to 180 degrees. Now angle PQS is 25 degrees plus angle S Q N is what we are saying is Y plus angle R Q N is what we are having as S degrees over here and that is equal to 180 degrees over here now note that we already established the fact that angle Y is equal to 85 degrees because it is vertically opposite to angle M Q T so that means that I have 25 degrees over here and in place of Y, I put 85 over there. Then plus X will give me 180 degrees over here. So all I have to do is to add what I have on the left hand side and send it to the right hand side. So 85 plus 25 will give me 110 degrees plus X in degrees is equal to 180 degrees over here so to find the value of x i maintain x over here then i send the 110 to the other side of the equal to sign so if it goes there it becomes over here is positive if it crosses the equal to sign it becomes negative so i have 110 degrees over here so my value of x is equal to 180 minus 110 will give me 70 degrees so therefore the value of my x is equal to 
70 degrees. All right, so let's have a look at another example. We have here the exterior angle of a regular pentagon is 70 degrees. We have to find the sum of its internal angles. All right, so let's have a look at the solution to this problem. Now, first of all, we're told that the external angle, so I'm going to use E as the external angle of a regular pentagon is 70 degrees. So therefore, uh, we have to find the sum of the internal angles. So internal angles, we don't know. So uh, I'll make uh, I as the internal angle. Now note that a pentagon, pentagon is a five-sided polygon. It's a five-sided figure or polygon. So it has five sides. Okay. Now for this particular problem, this is how we solve it. So the exterior angle E plus the interior angle I is equal to 180 degrees. That is how we begin. So the sum of the interior angle and then the exterior angle of a polygon is equal to 180. We were already told or were given the external angle to be 70 degrees already. So plus the internal angle, that will give us 180 over here. So from here, all we have to do is to send the 70 to the other side of the equal to sign and then we make our internal angle the subject. So our internal angle becomes 180 degrees minus 70 degrees. So therefore our internal angle is equal to 110 degrees over here. Okay, so we have one internal uh, angle to be equal to 110 so therefore if one internal angle if one internal angle is equal to 110 degrees then five internal angles will be equal to what that simply means we need to multiply five by 110 so the sum of internal angles sum of internal angles will be equal to five multiplied by one internal angle which is I so 5 multiplied by 110 degrees and then we have 550 550 degrees as the sum of its interior angles so this is the solution to this particular problem all right so let's have a look at another problem okay so we can see the diagram over here in this diagram, angle PRQ by PRQ means the P from the bottom over here to R over here to the Q, which is the center where all the lines meet over here at the top over here is 58 degrees. So that is the angle we are seeing over here. And then angle PQR is 80. So angle P from the bottom over here to Q at the top over here back to the bottom over here r over here is the 80 that we are seeing at the top over here and then line sr which is uh, sr this line over here is equal to line rq is equal to the line going to the top over here to meet at q so we have to calculate the angle vqt so vqt this angle over here so i'm going to make let's see here s okay that is what we want to fine now let's look at something because they said line sr is equal to line rq and then we can see these two lines over here it therefore means the angle just from here from here to here where the white line is and then here to here are equal those two lines or those two angles are equal now if those two angles are equal it means that if we add the angle over there, the angle over here, and then the 58, it should be equal to the sum of the interior angles of a triangle, which is equal to 180. So let's proceed to look at that. So that tells me that angle, depending on how you're looking at it, angle QSR, so QSR, Plus, which is the angle at the bottom over here or at S plus angle 
plus angle P R Q that is the 58 over here P R Q plus angle the one at the top over here so let me take it from S S Q R S Q R is equal to 180 degrees now but note that angle Q S R Q S R is equal to angle S Q R all we mean by this is that the angle over here is equal to the angle over here and so we can let those ones be let's see why now if these guys are y it therefore means that from the top over here i have y plus p r q is equal to 58 that we have over here plus 58 plus another y is equal to 180 degrees so now i have y here y here so it becomes 2y plus 58 is equal to 180 degrees 2y will be equal to 180 i move the 55 58 sorry to the other side of the equal to sign so it becomes minus 58 so i have 2y is equal to 180 minus 58 will give me 122 so i have 122 over here so I divide both sides by 2, therefore my value of y will be equal to 61 degrees, 61 degrees over here. So therefore it means that the angle over here is 61, the one over here is also 61, 61 over here like that. Now look at something, the angle over here is 61 plus the one over here, okay will give us the total of 80 which is what we have over here so if i add the angle over here plus the angle over here it should give me the total which is 80 so therefore it means that so let me quickly erase what i have over here it means that angle p q s plus angle s q r is equal to angle p q r okay so it means that the angle p q s which is p q s the total p q s over here the one at the bottom over here the one i'm shading over here this angle over here plus angle s q r which is s q r which is the 61 that we found should be equal to the total which is 180 so angle p q s plus angle s q r which is 61 is equal to the total which is 80 degrees over here so therefore angle p q s is equal to 80 minus 61 so therefore angle p q s will be equal to 19 degrees over here now if you look at it the question is asking us to find angle v q t now, if you look at angle VQT, which is the X over here, it is vertically opposite to angle PQS. So, therefore, it means that angle, angle PQS is equal to angle VQT. And since angle PQS is 19 degrees, it therefore means that angle VQT is also 19 degrees. So, therefore... Our angle VQT, which is the angle we are supposed to find at the top over here, which is the X, is equal to 19 degrees over here. Alright, so let's have a look at one final example. Okay, so we have diagram over here. So in this diagram, POQ, so POQ, the straight line we can see over here the horizontal straight line and m o n so from m o n the slanted one from the top to the bottom over here and o l so o uh, from the origin over here down here are straight lines they are all straight lines and angle q o l is 60 so the one over here 60 degrees so we have to calculate the value of 
x uh, over here now there are so many ways we can uh, do this so we'll look at um, how we can do that and then we get our final answer okay so the first way we can do this is look at something now if you look at the angle n o q which is the x and the 60 together it is vertically opposite to p o m at the top over here so it means the angle over here should be equal to the angle at the top over here which basically means that angle angle n o l which is the x plus angle l o q or q o l depending on how you look at it should be equal to angle p o m okay which is the 130 at the top over here so that means that my x plus 60 degrees over here should be equal to 130 which is at the top over here so therefore my x is equal to 130 minus 60 degrees and so if i subtract 60 from 130 i'm going to get 70 degrees over here so that is one way we can look at that another way is for us to see that the angle over here let's say this is y so the 130 plus x over here will give us what will give us 180 so if we do that it means this is just case two let me say case two another way to solve it case two that means 130 plus the y over there will give us 180 so therefore our y is 180 minus 130 and therefore our y will be equal to 50 degrees so the angle over here will be 50 now if the angle over here is 50 you can see that it is vertically opposite to the angle over here so which means here to also be what 50 degrees if this side is also 50 degrees it means 50 plus x plus 60 should give us 180 so therefore we'll have 50 degrees which is the one over here the newly one we found plus x the one over here okay plus 60 which is the one over here should be equal to 180 so therefore um 50 plus 60 that will give me 110 so x plus 110 will be equal to 180 so if i maintain my x here and send 110 to the other side of the equal to sign it becomes negative and so 180 minus 110 will give me a 70 degrees as the value of x so if you look at the first answer we got and then the last answer we have over here they are all the same so this is how we solve this problem there are various ways you can uh, go around the problem to get your answer it depends on your understanding of straight lines and angles that are vertically opposite to each other as well as alternate angle and corresponding angles as well so we'll be looking at those ones in the subsequent video so thank you so much for watching this is all i have for you today and i'll see you in the next video bye bye